My name is Herb Green. I'm a master percussionist and mentor and community activist. As a black man uh, in this society, I've had to deal with being stereotyped uh, and categorized, which uh, limits opportunities and, and potential. Um, because of that, um, uh, you're not able to uh, express yourself as fully as you would want to. As this struggle, you know, comes from, it's, it's twofold because it comes from uh, both sides of the, the community. On, on the, the, the white side of the community, uh, you know, uh, because uh, I'm stereotyped uh, in some aspects, uh, you know, it, that, that comes through um, their fear and, you know, which you can detect in their body language, uh, their urgency to, uh, to disengage from conversation, um, their, their unwantingness to uh, establish full relationships in, in, some, in some cases. Yeah, so, and, and that fear, you know, uh, it, it stems from uh, lack of knowledge, uh, you know, not taking the time uh, to get to know the individual, uh, to get to uh, uh, go into uh, what makes that person uh, who they are, uh, uh, you know, uh, and, uh, and to even question uh, one's own self about why am I so apprehensive? Is it because of something that person did or is it because of something that I was told about that person? So, you know, taking the time to, you know, to uh, investigate on your own to, to find out that, you know, who's the individual who uh, is next to you or standing in front of you, uh, taking that, that, that little bit of time to just to get to know that person would alleviate a lot of the fears that you have. From the, from, the, from the black community, uh, in some aspects, uh, when, a, when a gentleman or a lady makes progress in their craft and uh, what they you know, uh, tend to do to support their families and they excel in that and they don't engage in those activities that would deduce uh, who they are. Uh, you might be distanced from some people in your community, or, or you know, not some, but you know, many people in your community because uh, on one side of that, they you know might think that because of the progress you made, that you've elevated to uh, be better than them, you know, as people. When you know that's absolutely not true. Yes, I come from uh, you know a musically inclined family. Uh, I have uh, two sisters who uh, sing gospel and R&B. Uh, uh, I'm a relative of Lil Buck Senegal, Curly Taylor, uh, you know, who uh, play uh, blues and zydeco. Uh, I have two great uncles uh, on my mother's side who were, you know, into Zydeco music and, uh, you know, so I, you know, when it uh, came to me making the decision to be, you know, uh, involved in music, it, it was just second nature because, I, you know, I've been around it all my life. Yes, I own and operate a, a mentorship program where I, I teach young boys uh, in the inner city between the ages of 4 and 18 uh, African and Latin percussion, primarily hand percussion. Uh, and one of the reasons why, you know, I, uh, I, I chose to do that because a lot of those kids are at risk and uh, don't have some avenues. A lot of the social programs that were once out there, you know, are charging uh, astronomical amounts of money, you know, to be involved in. So I, I just thought that I would make it, you know, economically sound for the parents where it would be at a low cost and I provide all of the equipment uh, that are necessary as I get a, a child in. Uh, I uh, purchase a djembe uh, drum, which is an African drum, and uh, you know I, I, I use that as a vehicle to be able to uh, get close enough to understand why the child acts the way that it, that they do. And once that barrier is broken, then they're able to open up and explain, you know, just what they're experiencing out there. So you know, my job through mentoring is just to coach them in a way that they would make positive choices, you know, as far as what they do and the people they choose to uh, be around. Through the Katie Anderson of the Arts, uh, I'm a traveling artist. I'm an artist in the classroom where I go to various uh, schools throughout the Lafayette community and I do drumming presentations, uh, speak to the kids about the history uh, of uh, African and Latin drumming. Uh, and, you know, through that, it, it, you know, it, it gives me a chance to be able to uh, uh, interact you know with the kids at large uh, you know throughout the you know Lafayette community uh, get a chance to uh, give them a little bit of my history and you know in, in some cases I learned from them as well you know and you know uh, 
it's just a, a, a great exchange. Uh, I also, uh, you know, do uh, adult drumming, and uh, I work for, uh, oh, I'm a staff member at uh, Fire Expressions Performing Arts Conservatory, you know, and that's an a, a organization run by a young lady, Leah Porter, in Lafayette, and uh, she does the same thing as well, you know, with young ladies and dance. So, you know, just the combination uh, uh, or the collaboration of, of us, you know, coming together, we're able to touch a lot of lives, a lot of young lives. Oh, well, Smooth Poochie. <laughs> it's, my, uh, it's my brainchild. Uh, it's something that I've, I've always wanted to do. Uh, I could remember back uh, when I was about five or six years old, sitting on my father's lap, and, uh, and listening to short rave radio, and we would catch the Louis Armstrong show. Uh, and it was, you know, just the music, uh, you know, without lyrics, uh, but just, you know, the sounds and the instrumentation that would come across the radio waves that, you know, I was really, you know, drawn to. So as I got older um, uh, and uh, wanted to, you know, be a performer, I tried several instruments, but that didn't work. And uh, you know, then as a percussionist, then I, I found that I could fit in just about any you know genre of music. So in uh, moving back from Atlanta, I had played with you know several bands. I was mentored by Ollie Woodson of The Temptations, uh, and uh, played with Randy Skinner of uh, Parliament Funkadelic. And um, when I got to Lafayette, there was a jazz band here that you know I played with uh, Jeremy Benoit uh, in the band, uh, J.B. Sachs in the band, and. Uh, uh, you know, and I was like, you know, I, I could, you know, I wanted to do another style of jazz. And uh, so I was like, man, I, I know enough musicians here to where I could form my own band. So, you know, I was able to, you know, get a, you know, phenomenal keyboard player, Jill Merkel, uh, Clint Jones on guitar, you know, people that I had played with, with uh, Jeremy. Uh, and, uh, you know, we started doing, you know, some things and uh, we developed, uh, you know, Smooth Poochie, you know, so, uh, you know, here we are, you know, Jill is, uh, you know, a uh, professional person, uh, Clint, uh, you know, teaches in the area, you know, and we have Lincoln Landry, you know, who's Dennis Landry's son, you know, uh, out here in Lafayette from the renowned uh, band uh, Dennis Landry and Sky, and, uh, you know, so just to be able to uh, share my dream with them and they, you know, they bought into my philosophy, we were able to uh, develop and maintain a, a, a band that's, you know, we're going to impact Lafayette, you know, through our music, you know, we're diverse in culture, you know, uh, and uh, we have a lot to offer. You know, with the political cl climate the way it is and the rhetoric that's coming across, uh, you know, people are, you know, are taking sides rather than, you know, uh, coming together, you know, to fight against uh, those things that are being perpetuated uh, in the way of making America great again. Uh, you know, I just feel that, you know, through our talents and uh, through our diverse cultures that it's going to take all of us collective, collectively to come together uh, to combat anything that would uh, promote racism and prejudice or, or any things that would go against the human race. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're black, white, uh, Latino, uh, Asian, it, you know, it doesn't matter where you come from in the world, but if you come to this place, then you should come to this place uh, within yourself that comes from love. And, you know, when you're able to love, then your, your talents and everything about you just shines more brightly.